I have a data warehouse experience in data space tools like Snowflake and Spark technologies, and I'm thinking about DevOps or versus generative AI machine learning on AWS cloud courses. What would you suggest and which one should I go for? That was a question asked in my free class that I dated this uh, Saturday um, about generative AI machine learning data science or data engineers. Uh, AI engineers on AWS cloud. So I thought I'll take this opportunity to answer this question because I I've had the same situation when I was I was trying to learn and transition um, on journey and I've done both DevOps as well as uh, the generative AI machine learning which I'm doing on AWS cloud. So I thought I'll take this opportunity to record this video. And if you're first, if you're interested to uh, have the free class that I did, uh, which I'm going to put it into my description, and I'll also tell towards the end uh, because we might be having this session one more time again. So I thought uh, let's let's uh, look at the actual question now, and then I'll give you which one would I give towards end as well. So first, let's explain what is the roles and responsibilities of DevOps engineer, and what's roles and responsibilities about uh, the generative AI on AWS cloud or machine learning AI machine learning on AWS. AWS cloud, what the, each person does, and what are the pros and cons of each, and where the industry is heading towards as well. So I've created this table in terms of who are relevancy to the data background. First of all, so DevOps course, if you're going to do, which will uh, this will be more complementing to what you're already doing in data technologies like Snowflake, uh, Spark, and um, something similar on maybe on AWS cloud, Azure cloud, or maybe you um, yeah. So so it will be complementing. Particularly, how it will complement is you might be building the data pipelines or deploying the applications or data data pipelines using CI/CD tools and so on. Whereas the AI, generative AI, machine learning, um, especially on AWS cloud, these will be highly, uh, highly, highly relevant to the skills that you are doing because on the data skills uh, for doing things like uh, data analytics as well as uh, building new models, generative AI. So it will be more relevant in your role compared to. Uh, the DevOps, but DevOps will be more complementing the roles that you're doing as well. Now, in terms of learning, in DevOps, you'll be learning more about CI/CD pipelines, Jenkins, or other CI/CD tools, GitLabs uh, versus AWS code pipeline, and so on. Whereas here in generative AI machine learning, you'll be doing more machine learning basics, machine learning, uh, supervised learning, deep learning, model evaluation, and building and uh, building and managing the generative AI applications, bring the data from multiple sources into things like Lakehouse, which you might already be doing, so that you can run machine learning models for that. Now, in terms of skills key areas, in DevOps, you'll be working containers, Kubernetes, Docker, and so on. Those things you still have to learn, in my view, for all the generative AI guys, or machine learning guys, especially who are on advanced, you still have to learn the Docker Kubernetes containers because you'll be deploying your models on these days on containers. So I think that's probably relevant to both of them, but you'll also more focused on doing things like here, deep learning, neural networks, CNN, RN models, um, and so on. Now, in terms of on DevOps, you'll be doing more on the infrastructure as a code, cloud formation to build infrastructure on DevOps for your data applications, whereas here, on the AWS AI machine learning, you'll be doing more on generative AI, GANs, transformers, creative applications, and these transformers, what is um, uh, the uh, foundation models, uh, what is CNN, what is RNN, uh, RAG, a lot of other advanced things, or maybe LLMs. I'm going to talk in my future videos here, so just stay relevant. This just I'm going to cover them as well. Now, in terms of skilling, on in terms of what you're going to, uh, what other things you'll be doing for DevOps, you'll be doing more about monitoring, logging, Prometheus, Grafana, ELK stack. Whereas here on uh, on um, AI generative AI machine learning, deep learning, you'll be doing more about is, uh, for example, SageMaker is one. Then you have Bedrock is another one. You'll be doing a services Lambda. Um, and other technical skills you'll be doing as well. Um, so in terms of both, they have one is complementing your skills, which is DevOps, versus one, one is enhancing your skill on, um, a, on um, which is AI, machine learning, and so on as well. In terms of certifications, you can do some certifications on other side. I'm, I'm now giving you what you can learn on either of them, and then towards end, I'm going to talk about which one eventually I'll do uh, so that you understand all of them and then you can take a wise decision which one you direction you want to go as well and I have a very interesting answer as well which I'll, as I said I'm going to cover it in in terms of certification you can do uh, AWS DevOps you have DevOps foundation you can do Azure DevOps um, 
uh, Kubernetes, uh, CK, CKAD, uh, Kubernetes. There's a Terraform certification you can do in DevOps. Here you have um, a AI machine learning specialist, which is a, a currently available, but I'm recording this prior to August of, or I'm doing it in Ju uh, July, end of July, 2024. And AWS have just announced uh, the certification about, uh, they have machine learning um, associate, as well as AI uh, foundation certification, two certifications they've announced, they'll be coming in beta on 13th of August, and we'll be doing those two certifications and how you can get hold of will also cover in that free class, which I mentioned, I'm going to, you can check it out on the disc, uh, description section, or I'll talk about that free class towards end uh, as well. So these certifications you can do. Similarly, you have, if you're working on AI machine learning data science on Microsoft Azure Cloud, there are certifications on AI foundation, AI engineer, and then machine learning, which is, I think, um, DP100 on Microsoft Azure Cloud as well. Now, the career opportunities point of view, you'll be, uh, if you go more towards the DevOps line, you'll be doing more in a system administration, cloud infrastructure, CICD management, whereas on AI machine learning, you'll be becoming maybe going towards a data science engineer, AI engineer, AI research, machine learning engineer, and those sort of roles that you'll be doing as well. Now, in terms of demand, both has demand in my view. Uh, so, DevOps already have demand, high in demand, um, especially towards software development, lifecycle, and deployment process. Uh, AI machine learning, on the other hand, is already in high in demand and it's going to grow exponentially from here based on what I've seen uh, in industries or, and what companies I'm working with based on that. So definitely, um, it's going to grow AI machine learning, data science side, high demand of advanced AI machine learning uh, topics as well. But you need to have a structured learning. There's a lot of uh, things available and you need to make sure that you consume that, which I'm going to talk about as well. Uh, I think you, if you already attended the free class, you know, so you'll be, I'll be, um, so follow that path as well. Now, skills enhancements, um, I think I'm not going to go here, but in terms of long-term benefits, I think there's a short-term benefit and there's a long-term benefit. Um, DevOps, there's a flexible career opportunities in operational roles, like you'll be doing day-to-day -day operational roles, uh, CICD, continuous improvement and integration of new tools. Whereas AI machine learning, it's a very specialized roles. Uh, there'll be already, there are a lot of roles, but uh, both beginner level roles, but also specialized roles on AI machine learning, uh, more innovative projects, advanced data solutions as well. Now coming to the main point, which I think you wanted to hear and you didn't want to hear any of those fluff, which I mentioned, but this is important for you to take a constructive decisions. Now, uh, now again, don't listen to uh, me, what I'm saying, Take your own decision, but if I'm in your place, if I'm coming from a data, which is exactly, uh, I did, and I did both of them, but at the time when I started my uh, transitioning, um, I was already working as a data, uh, data working, I started my career as a DBA back in 2000, and it's more than two and a half decades now, working with multiple clients across the globe, uh, and last few years have been, uh, I've done DevOps as well, but when I started uh, data, um, or after data, when I was doing data, DevOps, I transitioned to DevOps because there was no AI machine learning back in 2012, 11, 12, when I started moving into cloud, Dev, uh, DevOps, DevOps and cloud. Um, so if I have to do it now, then I would be picking uh, data. Uh, with respect to data, I'll be picking AI, generative AI machine learning, because first of all, it's, it's enhancing and highly relevant to me uh, as a data engineer or someone who's working on data. Uh, but but uh, so I'll be picking up AI machine learning, generative AI, AI and so on. Having said that, me, I know being me, I would rather than compromising, rather than saying this versus this or only doing one skill, I might go both of them because both are relevant, will be helpful. But if I have to only pick one, then I'll be picking generative AI machine learning on this side. And if I, if I get an option and if I, which I know I'm going to, I can do it, I'll be doing both. So don't settle on one, maybe begin with AI, generative AI machine learning, and then go for the second one, DevOps as well. Or if you have only one, then go for, in my view, go for generative AI machine learning as well. Now, if you're watching this, do let me know in the comment section, um, what's your view if you're watching, whether it's DevOps versus AWS, generative AI machine learning, data science, those kind of things. 
uh, let me know in the comment section what do you feel about and uh, let me give you the free class and then i'll tell you oh by the way other thing is let me know what questions comes to mind like this because i'm going to i have tons and tons of questions in that free class i'm going to cover a lot of those questions as well as we move forward and i'll be getting plenty of material that you'll be seeing so don't forget to subscribe to this uh, video channel as well and also i mentioned about the free class uh, that i was or the question uh, from which uh, this question uh, this question came or the free class from which this discussion came this was about mastering generative ai on aws cloud learn build and earn um on and so I had this class on Saturday and currently it's on, uh, there's a replay going on of that, but I'm planning to redo this session. So hopefully by the time you watch this video, there might be a session going on. So maybe register for that session. We'll be talking about uh, AI, machine learning, deep learning, and generative AI, what, why, uh, and how on AWS Cloud. We'll also be doing a demo, or I did this in this class, a demo. We might change topics slightly here and there, but we did a demo on using AWS recognition, which is a deep learning uh, tool on AWS Cloud. We also did a demo about uh, generative AI using generative AI, uh, uh, apply our service using called Bedrock. And then we also did a prompt engineering and we did some prompt engineering inside that uh, demo as well. We also looked at the services and also a lot of question answers as well. And in turn, I gave you the whole roadmap in terms of um, uh, the, the generative AI uh, machine learning uh, including the uh, four certifications that, in my view, someone work learning on AWS Cloud should be doing as well. Apart from that, uh, for those who stayed till end, we did a voting, and uh, between um, two free gifts I announced, one gift was about um, uh, one gift was about uh, the free 50 questions on AWS machine learning certification exam questions, and another 50 question on interview. And I think, funny enough, we had a 45-55 uh, ratio. 55% guys asked for AWS 50 uh, machine learning questions, so we gave that as well. So if you're interested, you can check it out by ketoneacademy.com forward slash genai02. We'll be taking down this replay soon, and then we'll be announcing a new class uh, based on what we've learned, ton of questions came. We'll be redoing the whole class again. So ketoneacademy.com forward slash genai02. Gen AI 02. It's like ketonacademy.com forward slash Gen AI. Sorry, it's AWS Gen AI 02, not my mistake. It's AWS Gen AI 02. Ketonacademy.com forward slash AWS Gen AI 02. Apart from that, if you have any other question, don't hesitate to ask uh, um, as well. And let me know your question, and I'll cover the next question soon. Uh, in uh, So uh, don't forget to leave a comment to me. This is Atul from Team Keton Academy. Take care and bye for now.